All right, so tell me if this sounds at all like you. You're just not getting your book written as quickly as you would like. Um, You know, you try, and of course, you have a lot of things you have to do during the day. Maybe you work, maybe you've got a family, and you do have blocks of time that you've blocked out to get your book written, but it still just feels like it's going agonizingly slow. And either you don't know what you can do to improve, or maybe in some cases you actually do know, but things get in the way, you make excuses, and you just don't end up doing the things you know you pr- probably ought to do if you want to improve, right? Um, My next question is, do you measure your improvement from week to week or month to month? I would bet that most of you don't. (laughs) And herein lies part of the problem, okay? You're probably doing better than you think you are, but it's really hard to know if we're not measuring it, right? So I told you last episode that I had come up with um, a resource for you that's going to help with this, that's hopefully going to help you improve your fiction production, for one thing, but also help you improve your confidence because it will help you to be able to see the progress you're making. All right. It's called my fiction production growth scorecard, and I'm going to explain it to you in great detail. So stay tuned. Hi there, aspiring fiction author. Welcome to fiction author business school. Do you want to write your stories with ease and confidence? Do you find yourself Googling how to write a fiction book or how to write a character arc? Do you want to create a fiction empire, but you can't even finish the story you're currently working on, and you find yourself doubting it will even be good enough? Hi, I'm Liesl. I too have been writing stories since I was just a kid. I wanted to do something about my fiction writing dreams, but got information overload every time I looked for writing help, because there's just so much out there on the internet. I wanted confidence that I wouldn't disappoint my readers, and a plan to publish regularly. I knew the foundation of any author career, including the marketing aspect, is a stellar and well-written story, but I didn't know how to be sure that my story was solid. I went on a journey to figure out what really makes readers tick and how to incorporate those addictive elements into my story. In this podcast, you'll find specific tactical fiction writing tips, solutions to writing more words more efficiently, and secrets to mastering your author mindset. So put on your fuzzy slippers, grab a notebook and pen and some chocolate, and let's write some fiction. Okay, so I've told the story many times that uh, back when I was in college, more than once, I would, you know, quote unquote, take a semester off in order to get a book written. And I did write um, at least one book. No, I wrote a couple of books before I got out of college. But, you know, usually I would take three or four semesters off before I actually got one written. And I ended up being more productive, more productive when I was in school anyway, because, you know, it became part of my routine, right? It became part of my homework. I mean, part of that was just me being young and, you know, looking for an excuse not to take classes this semester, that sort of thing. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. But the point is, um, I really wanted to, you know, truly had the desire to get a book written, but I also didn't have much structure. You know, I didn't know what to do, how to put myself in the mindset to get it written. And so because of that, my writing was very sporadic. It was very, you know, all over the place. One of the best things I ever did for myself was join a critique group, which kept me accountable week to week that I had to write something to send to the group. Okay. And that's not really what I'm talking about today. But the point is that accountability is key. And so is having a step by step process or a step-by-step plan. So back then, if someone could have said, okay, every day, I want you to sit down and do one, two, three, four, you know, these bullet points or this list of things, and I could have done that and seen progress, I totally would have done that, but I didn't have the structure for that. And so it was just very all over the place, willy nilly, whenever I felt like writing, I would, and then I wouldn't write for three weeks. And, you know, I know that you guys can all relate to that. We've all been there, right? But here's the thing. If you want to improve really any skill at all, this is true of writing, but it's true of anything, um, you have to measure your before and after. There's just no way to know if you're improving if you don't have some sort of measurement, okay? Um, If you measure your improvement over time, then you'll start to see it, right? Otherwise, you really may not. And it's really hard because we tend to be our own worst critics. And so we tend to tell ourselves, I'm not getting it done fast enough. I'm not... I don't have the willpower. I'm not being productive. You know, I, I, I've been working on this book for six months and it's still not done and, you know, things like that. Um, but if you can measure it, then you will be able to see your progress over time, even if it's slow. So if you're someone who 
is, you know, has a lot of time to write and is constantly cranking out words and cranking out chapters, then maybe you don't need this. But especially for the people who um, really are trying hard to get things done and feel like nothing's getting done or like it's getting done very, very slowly, I'm telling you, this will help you a lot, okay? Because it will not only give you um, steps to do every day, but it will give you accountability. And it also is sort of gamifying it in your mind, which is always fun. Okay, so let's jump into the scorecard and I'll explain exactly how it works. And then I'll tell you how you can get it. Um, it's completely free. You can just download it and, you know, use it however works best for you. So the fiction production growth scorecard is exactly that. It's something that's going to help you grow your product, your productivity when it comes to writing your fiction. So basically there are, it's a, it's an Excel spreadsheet that I put together for you and it has every day of the week, uh, Monday through Sunday. And then it has a whole bunch of actions that you can take to get your book written. And then there are point values next to them. Okay. So you would Ideally, take this action and then you get that many points. And what I want you guys to aim for is about 100 points per week. If you are constantly making 100 points per week, I promise you, you are making um, progress toward getting your fiction written, okay? So here are the things that I have put on the scorecard that you can possibly do any given day to earn the points. Number one is journaling on your purpose in writing this story. I don't know how many of you actually do that, but I promise it's important and it's something that I teach in my programs. If you understand why you're writing this story and why it's important to you, then you are much more likely to engage in the story, to bring that emotion into the story. It's actually a subconscious thing, but it's there and it is important, okay? If you do that on any given day, that's worth five points. If you outline a full character arc, that's worth two points. Now that can be any character. It can be your protagonist. It can be your villain. It can be a subplot character. Okay. Anything. But if you figure out their arc, you know, throughout the book from beginning to end, that's worth two points. Um, if you outline the 10 plot points for a book, that's worth four points, right? So understand that this is not just writing words. Some of these things that are on the scorecard are also planning and outlining, right? Figuring things out about your story. Um, creating a scene out, outline with cause and effect, which means you go through it and figure out every single scene that's going to be in your book. That's worth 10 points because that's a lot of work. Okay. Now we get to the writing. I just wrote it down as writing words and you get one point per hundred words that you write. So this is where most of your points could feasibly come from. If you're someone who writes a thousand words per day, that's 10 points a day, right? If you write 2,000 words a day, that's 20 points a day. That's a lot. So you can get a lot of your points through simply writing every day. Now, the same thing is true of editing. If you're, you know, got your rough draft down and you're the, in the editing phase, then you're going to get one point per 100 words that you edit. So if you go through and edit a whole chapter and that chapter is 2,500 words, you just got 25 points for that day, right? Um, if you go to a critique group and get your work critiqued, put it in front of people and get some feedback for it, that's worth four points. So that's a really important part of the writing process. If you edit or critique another person's work, that is also worth four points because that actually critiquing other people's work is going to improve your skill and make you a better writer. Okay. If you order cover art, so we're kind of moving into the, you know, book production phase here, but if you happen to order cover art on any given day, that's three points. If you write your front and back matter for your book, that's two points. If you are formatting your manuscript, whether it's in a software or paying someone else to do it, or just using word, anything like that, that's worth two points. And on the day that you upload it to book retailers, be it Amazon or Barnes and Noble, whatever, the case may be, it's one point per platform that you upload it to. Okay. So like I said, this can just help keep you accountable. Do as many of these things as you can any given day. And of course, you're going to have days when you do none of them, because maybe you only write three times a week, and that's fine. But then there'll be other days when you write 2500 words, maybe do some journaling and uh, figure out a character arc. Oh, and also decide to go ahead and order your cover art that you're going to make a lot of points. So like I said, I want you to, to aim for about 100 points a week. If you're doing that, I, I mean, just writing 2,000 words a day, you'll hit those 100 points, right? But if you're doing at least 100 points per week and you are not fibbing, right, and you are genuinely doing the work, which there's no reason for you to fib because no one's checking this. No one's going to police you on this, right? This is just for you and your accountability and to make sure that you are getting things done, right? So if you are genuinely doing the work and you're doing hundred points a week, you guys, 
you cannot help but make progress toward getting your book written. Okay, so this is just an accountability for you. And it's sort of gamifying it. It's setting a goal of hitting 100 points per week. And maybe you want to maybe you want to set your goal much higher than that. And by all means do. Maybe your goal is to hit 300 points per week. Do that if you possibly can, you know, get as many points as you possibly can get. So the Excel spreadsheet has four weeks. So this is a monthly thing. And of course, you are welcome to copy it, you are welcome to change it any way you want. Once you download it, it is yours. But it also has a results tab that has all of the months of the year. And that what's fun about that is obviously, it's going to take a year for you to fill all that out. And that's why I'm giving this to you now, if you want to start it, you can definitely start it in December, just to kind of get into the rhythm and cadence of it. But if you start it in January and do the whole year, you will have your total number of words written for the year. Um, because it's got you know, you have to look at the fourth tab, the results tab, it's got all of the months of the year, it has total words written, so you would write them down by month, and then they would be totaled up for the, you know, total for the year at the bottom. And then there's total books published. And so you can go through and let's say you're only publishing one or two books, that's fine. But you would write down for each month, you know, how many books, you know, you probably only publish one per month, but um, on any given month, I mean, but if you published one in February, and then maybe one again in May, and then another one in September, or something like that, then at the end of the year, you'll be able to see where those books were published, and that you have three for the year. And next to that is another uh, column in which you're going to keep track of the points you made for the month. So for every tab, you're going to um, have your points for the week, but then you're going to add them up for the entire month and put them here. And what you're going to see, the point of this is that there is a correlation between how many points you have and how many books you get written. Okay, because this following this is going to help you be productive and get those books written. So go download your fiction growth scorecard today. You can get it at bit.ly forward slash fiction scorecard, which I will also link up in the show notes. That's bit.ly forward slash fiction scorecards so that you can start earning points and getting some accountability for getting your fiction writing done. It's actually really exciting to see how many words you've written, even if you feel like you only write a few hundred per day and you've only got, you know, maybe a half hour to work on it you can still see the progress and that makes it really fun and really exciting and you can be proud of yourself for the progress that you've made and I want that for you in the new year. So go download your scorecard now at bit.ly forward slash fiction scorecard. All right. Other than that, have a wonderful week of writing and I will be back next week. Same time, same place. Bye. Thanks so much for listening today. Before you go, would you be willing to do me a solid? If you found any value at all in this episode today, would you be willing to share it with other authors just like you in the hopes that they might find some value in it as well? Happy story crafting this week. Remember, only you can bring the world the unique story that you are trying to tell. Only you can succeed in your own unique way in getting it out of your mind and your heart and into a medium where it can reach thousands if not millions of salivating readers. You don't have to worry about failure because there is always a market for awesome.